This is two beta release video. This is a Fez Cobra with 4.3 inch LCD touchscreen and custom enclosure from GHI Electronics. The first thing we're going to do is hook up a USB cable for power. When Pixis 2 begins its boot process, the first thing it does is try and find an ethernet cable for internet connection. It'll wait for up to five seconds for you to plug one in. If you don't, it will continue on without it. Now we've reached the desktop. From here, you don't see too much because there's no SD hard drive installed. Without an SD hard drive, Pixis 2 Beta 1 doesn't have much to go on. Let's install a USB hard drive, or a SD hard drive now. As you can see, within a second or two, it's mounted the SD hard drive and loaded up a couple of sample applications. The first application we're going to look at requires internet connectivity, so we're going to plug in the ethernet cable. Now that we've plugged in the cable, it will begin to try and get a DHCP connection. This can take a second or two. As you can see now from the change in the icon on the top right, we have established connection. So we're going to launch our first application. What we have here is a set of radio buttons and a text box. This allows us to select what image we'd like to load and how we would like to display it. The first thing we're going to look at is one of the Pixis promo images done from Semageek. And we're going to look at it in scaled mode. Now Pixis 2 is connecting to the internet and downloading the image. As you can see, it's already completed, not a very large image. We could also, oh, that's what happens when you go too fast. We could also have typed in our own URL with the text box and the virtual keyboard. The virtual keyboard is built into text boxes, so you don't have to do any of that work yourself. If no USB keyboard is connected, this, US, this virtual keyboard will automatically present itself. For now, we're going to quit the image loader program. Now, as you can see, this application did not quit on its own. That means that the person who wrote the application didn't end it correctly. That's okay. Pixis OS 2 has a force quit option which will quit any rogue application. Now we have Solitaire. Demon Solitaire to be precise. It's kind of a requirement for any new S to have a version of Solitaire on it. This one is a simple touch screen version. I can do the deck, the reserve, and I can move my hand around. Both of these demo applications come in the Pixis OS 2 zip file, which is available from skewworks.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you try out Pixis 2 yourself.